My name is Samad. I run C3 Landry Services. We're a cleaning service in Ghana, Accra. I have been doing this for close to nine years now. Today, I'll be showing you how to clean a Persian rag. This rag has never been cleaned before. The rag is located in their dining area. It had multiple stains on it, food stains, coffee spillage, drink, soda, everything you could mention. It has about 20 years of death sitting in it. So first of all, you give it a good rinse in the beginning. The water is always cold. If you use hot water, it may shrink the fabric or destroy the fabric. You only use hot water in some cases where you're treating a particular stain. The shampoo in a watering can. You can't use just any soap for cleaning rugs. It's a mixture of shampoo, the stain removers, and then water. So usually when you apply the shampoo, you allow it to sit for about five to 10 minutes. Then you know it's gone really deep into the fibers. The Persian rug is usually made of, I believe it's silk. So this rug, I'm not sure of the exact cost, but it should cost between $800 to $1,000. So after putting a shampoo, then you scrub with a scrubber or a buffer. Some people call it a buffer, but I call it a scrubber. So the buffer basically agitates the dirt and it helps get all the dirt out of the rug. So I scrub all around the rug, scrub, scrub, give it a good old scrub to get most of the dirt out. There's a brush, so there are two types of brush, the hard brush and then the soft brush. So the type of rug will determine which brush you use. For this one, we use the hard brush. Some rugs are handmade. You can't use the hard brush. You're going to destroy the fabric of the rug. But with this type, it can handle the hard brush. It's not handmade. Some parts are handmade, like the French parts. You have to scrape the water off to get the first scrubbing session of the dirt out. So I use a squeegee or should I say a scraper, a shovel scraper I got someone to make for me over here. If you pay attention to my type of scraper, you'd see how it gathers most of the dirt and pushes all the water away. So the pressure washer helps losing more dirt in a rug. Pressure washing a rug alone cannot get all the dirt out. You need the shampoo to help do its magic. It's not a one procedure thing. So I give it a good old rinse with a squeegee. Then we flip it to the back. It's important to clean the work area so the dirt doesn't come back into the rug. Then you can continue with working. The back side will also require putting shampoo on it. It's the same procedure, just that that procedure doesn't take as long as the top side. Because usually the dirt is trapped more on the top side than the back side. When you clean the back, some of the dirt somehow goes back to the top part. So you have to flip it up and redo the whole process again. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Eventually, you realize the water becomes clear. So once it gets clear, you know your rug is clean now. Persian rugs are not too delicate, if I may say. There are different types of Persian rugs. Some require very close attention to cleaning, but some will require the normal cleaning procedure. This one needed extra care because because of the fringes especially. If you're not careful, the fringes are just going to come out. So you manually have to apply the shampoo with the chemicals onto the fringes, then you manually scrub. I can use any brush to clean the fringes, any hard brush. It has to be a hard brush because you're dealing with years of dirt. You need a hard brush to be able to scrub all that dirt out.
then I use the power washer to blow the dirt out of it. So I am using a wet vacuum to vacuum most of the water out of the rug. I repeat the process like twice. I'm able to get at least 80 to 90% of the water out of the rug before I leave it out to dry. I see some people use the centrifuge machine where it paints all the water out. I believe those who use that machine don't have very good weather over there. In my country, the sun is always out, so it helps dry the rugs quickly. It came out great. The client was very satisfied. The original colors were restored as well. I had no idea how the original colors looked like. You're unable to tell how originally it looks like, so you're done cleaning. It's usually dead sitting in there for years. That makes it heavily swelled. It's best to have a vacuum in your household where once in a while you vacuum all the dirt out of your rug. A rug like this can be cleaned every half a year. 